Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. We are headed. Um, where are we headed? To the, to the bar. bar. To the bar. <laughs> That's the only place we ever go first thing in the morning. Anyway, we're headed is our lesson day. What are your hopes for your lesson today? Uh, to show Fiona like his nice striding on that one jump that he normally refuses. Yeah. But he doesn't. Like. He yeah. Doesn't. Storm has not been refusing. My hopes. My what hopes are to ride my pony. Yeah, so we don't know what's or happening. Do I have uh -oh. a join up lesson because that's what I really want. Oh, to yeah, do maybe she'll have a join up lesson. And that's what we really need. All right, you guys, let's do it. Let's go to the barn and we're going to get started on chores because we're a little bit early. Like, we're early, you guys. We're early. Our coach is late. Our coach is late, but we're early too. I'd rather be in bed. Sleeping. Yeah, waking up early is hard. It's 7 30. <laughs> she threw my clothes on me. That's why when we have a farm, I'll just be doing the work. In the morning. Yeah, right. I had to wake her up. <laughs> I love it when you walk into the clearing and they're all standing there just staring Hope's, at you. Hope's waiting at the gate. They're She's like, smart. feed like, me! And why is it biting the <laughs> They're like, itching him. they're coming to meet us. They're like, come on, I'll help you hurry. Yeah, <laughs> Jump on my back, I'll are. take you to the gate. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo. But you have to wait till we scoop grain. Storm's in this field? Oh, he's probably like, come and get me, mama. Storm. That's Odie, okay. Let's find Storm. He's probably hanging out with his friends. So Storm's been changed to, an, to the gelding field. Do you see him? No, that's Spencer. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> look, you guys. Look, he's coming. He's so pretty. You know why? You know why? Right? I hope he has no scratches. So our instructor's running a little bit late. So we beat her here. So we're gonna start grading now that we know how to do morning chores because we did them the other day. There's a video. Um. So we're gonna do that really quick. If I can find our horse's buckets. Oh, phone. Why? What happened? Uh, we have a blue leg has cut. Uh oh. You think it's from Storm? Blue Obviously. Has a, yeah. Obviously, it's from Storm. And it's actually bad. Is it? Oh no. Uh, blue has. Apparently, blue has a huge cut. Hi, buddy. Storm's like, feed me, mom. It's so weird seeing you in here. I guess Storm's the boss of the herd now. Except for Tex. Tex pushes around everybody. And Blue's supposed to be the leader. Oh. Storm's the boss of the herd. Kind of. Don't bite. It's crazy bad. Let me show up, Mom. Hi. Here's Blue. Hi. Tex is the boss, actually. Yeah? Could have been from Tex or from Storm. Probably from Storm because Storm has French shoes on. And he was the boss of his other herd. So we might have to switch him from here to here. Now. At least it wasn't Lola. Yeah, it's hard when you put your horse in another field. Storm's the second boss, guys. So, so far, let's see. Yeah, he's not a, not a passive horse anymore. He developed that habit because there's no millhouse in his field. Because millhouse would tell him who's boss. Every 
Put his halter on. I just came trotting in and I'm like, oh. Nice. Whoa. He's Storm. He's the boss of tech. Yeah. Now. Yeah, he's, he's hungry. Storm's the boss of tech. Yeah. No one's the boss of tech. That's not good. We don't want a horse. It's too high on. He's a stallion now. You are not a stallion. <laughs> he's like, I have Gabby by my side. Weird, he's changed so much. Just waiting for Sophie. She's got blue there. All right. And there they go, the girly. Every soul, every season, lives outside of status quo. If we stop believing, we're meant to be expanding our abilities. If the passion's gone, we are doing it wrong. Baby, you and I, baby, you and I should start living now. With the whole world at our feet. When it's supper time, they all know where to go. Nope. Except for this one. <laughs> Who's like, oh, I'm getting the grass. Oh no. Uh oh. He's gone. Okay. Yeah, he did it the last time and he just walks back in. Oh. He's like all chill. All right, we are headed up for lessons. Sophie wanted to do a join up lesson today because we don't know how much she's allowed to run and in join up she will run. So uh, we decided to wait for a couple more weeks because still, like, she's still not very fit. So, so we're gonna do, she's allowed to canter for a few seconds every single week. You guys will get to see that today. You're gonna canter? Yeah. yeah. She's like, really? Come on guys, just let me stay and eat my breakfast. Yeah, so the story about Storm changing fields. We got the story today. So apparently what happened was he was let into the gelding field and instead of instead of walking in, smelling the other horses, saying, hey, hi, I'm new here, I'm the new guy, he went in, pinned his ears. She said that his neck was so stretched out that his, from his head all the way to his tail was complete one straight line. Yeah. And he just charged all the horses. He went into the new field that saying, I'm the boss of you all. That mark on blue, he does not rear and kick. He does not kick. He, um. It was right to biting them. He bites them instead of kick. So she said that um, one of the other horses, Odie, um, went up to him and said, ha, I don't think so. I was here first and it turned around to kick him and Storm said, I don't think so and went and said, I don't even care if you're gonna kick me and went straight with his mouth and started biting Odie. So Odie said, okay, I'm out of here, <laughs> like done. And after that all happened, she put Blue out there and Blue is the top man usually. He's no, a Texas. Well, Blue is a really confident, quiet leader and he just kind of puts them all in their place and yeah, um, she put them, she put Blue out there and turned around and all of a sudden there was all this squealing and Storm was like, you're new, I'll eat you and <laughs> took a bite of his neck. So yeah, our horse is a meanie, your horse is a meanie. Like me. <laughs> My horse is just like me. Guys. She's not a meanie, but I she's know. strong. She's strong She's and hey, own it, sister. <laughs> own it. <laughs> if you're mean, We're strong. Own so. it. If you're kind, we own it. We always get horses just like us. Yeah. We caught up. At least Storm Whoa. didn't get hurt. I'm currently being squished between horses. At least yeah. Storm didn't get hurt. But um, I'd rather have like a horse in the middle of the feet, in the middle of the herd instead of on the top because. On the bottom, sometimes they don't get as much food and they get picked no, on and that's no good. But at the top, I think it's almost worse because 
Wait, stop. They get stop aggressive. They get like too assertive. All right, you guys, this is gonna happen. If you guys don't know, Storm's afraid of the bridge. He only walks in the middle. Gabby's been working with him and working with him. And one day we just had to follow Stella's butt. Yeah. His nose was literally touching her butt. Yeah. We went across the side. Well, Stella's not even scared. Yeah. Over. Yeah, we, our horses are not chickens. Storm sure is. No, well, he's not usually. Like, I've read that there's not really any such thing as a bomb proof horse that everybody will be afraid at some point. Like, if you jumped out and said boo to one of us, we would scream even if we're not scared. Boo! scared kind of people it's the same with horse but horses but storm is literally not a spooky horse at that extreme like he does not freak out about stuff how about i put our coach on her and do that and make her a little bumper and stella is slightly like she like both of them are the same they don't really spook she did a little bit she does at the water she has her things that are scary to her and it's um not the water it's water no, not water. She it's like it. the hose. The hose is her big thing. And the spray bottle, but the spray bottle she's better with now. She just loves soap. But the two of them, like when something scary happens, they just go like that. That's all they do. Like oh, they don't. And it's nice because our last lease horrors was as spooky as they come. Let us lose ourselves in a fairy tale. Who can say what's wrong or So, this is Gabby's bucket of um, coconut oil that she got. Which she got like so, a year ago. Yeah, and it's... He's and, more interested in Toby's smell. Yeah, he's really interested in it, but he doesn't want to eat it. No, because Toby licked it. Toby. Give me a little tiny bit for Stella. So, let's do Stella with the taste test of coconut oil. She's like, yep, give me anything. I mean, in moderation, coconut oil is really good for them. Good for everybody. But you don't want her to get too much oil. Yeah, it's, she's like licking me. She's like, oh, I love coconut oil. <laughs>
are home we're from the barn and we've been trying to catch up on cleaning. We did not get a chance, okay, by we, I mean me, but actually the girls helped me a lot today. I've been trying to catch up on cleaning because we didn't get a chance to do much on the weekend. And I'm gonna show you the latest installment in the Schleich room. That's where I am. Dun, da, da, da. Me! Gabby is the newest. And my rug. Yeah, so we got this. And my bow. Yeah, and so this rug is not like, um, it's not like an indoor outdoor kind of rug. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's Macy will get confused and say, because oh, Macy's yeah. trained to pee on grass, like that yeah. grass stuff. That is not a good home. idea. That's this not a good room point. Will be closed, that's why. Yeah, we'll have to close this door. Alright, let's lay it down. It's green. It's green. Yeah, it is not really grass. But anyway, yeah, this is it. We have um a new rug. Remember, this room is going to be our Schleich room, also our spare room, also our filming room. Okay. I know it's taking me a long time to do the Schleich room because I'm not awesome at decorating. I don't even know how to make a Schleich room. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I am not awesome at it. But anyway, I'm gonna show you, you guys remember, the bunny room. The bunny room, ugh. Whenever I fail at something, it's the hardest thing for me. Like, I will go and go and go, even when I'm unhappy, to try and never fail at something for my own personal um, self. And yeah, I failed at the bunnies. But anyway, I'm gonna show you our bunny room, um, what it is now. Okay, so this room is a work in progress as well. But, um, dun da 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 Come down! It is our new exercise yeah, room. My turn. My turn. So uh, this is where we'll probably spend some of our fall time. We have a TV there still. Um, we have our exercise bike, um, a new carpet in here that is super cozy and comfy on my feet. Ruby, this is not a bathroom. She doesn't go to the bathroom in the house. But anyway, yep, this is it. This is our exercise room. We're going to get weights and um, maybe a treadmill, probably a treadmill in here as well. So yeah, that happened this week. You guys are probably thinking, what? You don't just spend all your time at the barn? You do other things? It's true, we sort of do other things. Do have time to do other things. Like, get a bird, maybe. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.